Hey, this is Matt with SpeedWeightLossBook.com. Uh, today I want to talk about something that's a, a little off topic for us. Um, doesn't really have to do with weight loss, but more with uh, sort of the diet or one of the dietary styles we recommend and, uh, and tumor growth, brain tumor growth in mice. So uh, there's this cool study that was put out in 2007. It's available in Nutrition and Metabolism, which is a peer-reviewed journal that's uh, uh, open access, or it's, it's free. You can go and download this study if you want, and it won't cost you anything which is really cool. We're all about that. Um, basically what they did is there were, there were three diet groups. They, they implanted tumors in mice, uh, two types, uh, in the brains of mice, and, uh, and there were three diet groups. Uh, one was an unrestricted uh, high-carb diet, which means the mice could eat as much as they wanted of a high-carb uh, meal. Um, then there were two other groups that were both low-carb, one unrestricted and one cal calorically restricted, uh, about 30 to 35% reduction in their uh, their normal caloric levels. So uh, what happened was that the tumor growth slowed significantly in the ketogenic or low-carb diet that was calorie restricted. Um, pretty cool stuff. Now, again, this is in mice, so obviously uh, carryover to humans isn't 100%, um, but we can learn some stuff about it and we'll know where else to go with some research maybe for helping out brain cancer treatment. Um, now, it's important to, to, to note though, make sure you understand that it didn't stop the growth of the tumor, it only slowed it down. Uh, I, I shouldn't say only because that's that's pretty huge. I mean, it increased the, the lifespan of the mice with uh, tumors, uh, the, the low carb uh, calorie restricted diet did. So that's really important. Um, now, one of the cool things that, that I highlighted, uh, there is, uh, I'll read you the quote directly from the study. Indeed, physical activity and grooming behavior was noticeably greater in the calorie-restricted low-carb group uh, than in the high-carb or low-carb unrestricted groups. Uh, so that's pretty cool because it shows that even in the calorie-restricted group, their energy levels were higher. That's awesome. So that's uh, one of the things that's kind of being debated in calorie restri restriction is whether it will affect your energy levels or not. And here with mice, uh, it at least showed that they had uh, apparently better energy levels, um, so their activity was greater. That's pretty cool. Um, now, the reason they think that this works is that uh, the brain tumor cells of the type that they studied uh, rely on glucose, uh, and a low-carb, high-fat diet, in addition with caloric restriction, really gets blood glucose levels down, um, and since uh, the cancer cells or the tumor cells rely on glycolysis or glucose, um, blood glucose, and it, that's low, it kind of almost starves the, those tumor cells, uh, while regular healthy brain cells can use ketones for fuel pretty efficiently. So, um, so it allows the rest of the brain to stay uh, healthy while it kind of starves the tumor cells. So anyway, again, this is a little off the beaten path of what we usually speak about because we're mostly about weight loss, but uh, I read this study, I was pointed to it by uh, Jimmy Moore of livinglevitalowcarb.com, and, uh, and, and I read it this afternoon and figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, leave some comments on our blog or get us on Facebook and, and send us a question on there, okay? Uh, check out speedweightlossbook.com, and uh, from there you'll find our blog and links to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. All right, have a good one.